Has all the clinical data gathered over 50 years been reviewed by the medical profession? And if so, have they come to any conclusion? Well, Maddie, as much as that's a nice question, it's a very naive question. Uh, you may or may not know that globally, the medical profession has been paid for and educated by the pharmaceutical industry. You may have or may not have heard about an international bill that's slowly but surely taking over all natural forms of health, called the Codex. If you're not aware of that, I think you should get online and read about that. Uh, the medical profession is not somebody that we need to cowtail to and ask for approval from. As a matter of fact, the most cutting-edge medical people come to Hippocrates to learn how what we've done has been so successful over the last 50 years. And yes, we challenge anyone who's a serious research scientist to come and take the data that we've collected for decades and in a serious way to utilize this in the work to help humanity in the future and stop this horrific process we call modern healthcare. I'm presently working with a very, very prestigious group, pediatric doctors, eventually in the hopes to do further clinical research away from the Institute with the data that we've collected, knowledge we've collected over the last half century. There have been research projects done about living food. Most notable in the last few years has been Dr. Fontana, from Washington University, St. Louis, one of our former alumnus, adherents of the program at Columbia University, Dr. Lily Link. And this is an ever growing field, but the money is not in the hands of natural health care. And the interest is not in the minds of the pharmaceutical to find ways not to make a profit. 